Hey there, this is Jake Jacobs. Let's talk about um, Piano Tech. Well, let's not talk about it because I'm not ready to do the review just yet. Um, this program has been out for a while and I've heard of it for a while and I, I really like it. Um, and, you know, I'll tell you about what I like and what I don't like about it. But um, so far it's great. But I got a little sidetracked because I got an M1 MacBook Pro and I got the, the Pro chip. So I got the bigger chip, I got the 32 cores of GPU, and I got the 32 gigs of RAM, simply because, I mean, I would do fine with 16. My old MacBook Pro was 16, but I decided to go with 32 because, um, I don't know if you guys know, but the, it's a it's a integrated graphics chip. Now, the, it's the fastest integrated graphics chip in the world, I understand. However, it shares that memory with the system memory. So while I'm compiling video for this channel, I want my Space Aliens to go fast and I need the 32 gigs of memory because I am playing games sometimes when I'm doing videos. And so what I'm doing is some programs, some of my plugins run under Rosetta, others run under, under native M1. Piano Tech it supports M1 natively. And so, so far, even the plugins that run in Rosetta, the MacBook Pro demolishes, just flat out, doesn't even break a sweat. Keyscape was, um, and, and the guys at Keyscape know my name, because <laughs> Keyscape at first destroyed my system, but the other way. And then uh, I got, I upgraded systems, and then Keyscape uh, upgraded their code. Now Keyscape runs great. Um, you know, one runs wonderfully, but the MacBook Pro Keyscape has updated and now Keyscape is M1 native and the MacBook Pro says, come here, like Scorpion, just amazing. Um, so far, everything I've thrown at it, like I said, Rosetta or not, it handles very well. So if I'm playing right now, this is Piano Tech. So if I if I did like a if I'm in church and I did a star five, and I'm holding on the pedal, look at the voices, 99, 100, right? Now it's it's pretty smart because it knows if I'm holding on, if I'm holding on, excuse that, if I'm holding on the chord, it's gonna be smart. Hey, you're hitting the same note, so I'm not gonna pull polyphony, you know. But what if I did what if I did something like this? So 200, it'll hit 256 comfortably because I know because I did it, my hand is tired. So when you're not worried about voices dropping out and pops and clicks from buffer size, when you've got the horsepower, it makes your libraries, it makes it a really worry-free thing. And, and that's a testament to um, the Apple's new Apple Silicon. But it's also a testament to, to Piano Tech and how they're supporting the M1 and how it runs efficiently and uh you know to all, to all of the plugin makers that are supporting the this this chip that apple's come out with wonderful wonderful and you know um cats like john mike um who produce more um you know and he, and he his video says that some people may want to hold off for the m1 um and, and i totally get that um but if you're a live cat and all of your plug if, if you're a live cat and all of your plugins don't work, if it has to use Rosetta, you're fine. You're not gonna have to worry about dropouts. You're not gonna have to worry about nothing. And if you look, um, I don't even know. Let me see. Where is my? Oh, not here. Let me move my head a little bit. The fans haven't even come on. So after all that, the fans are not on. So. <laughs> Can you believe that? So anyway, um, if you are on the fence about getting one of these, not, not they're, they're not cheap. They're, the Apple isn't giving these things away. So you're gonna be out uh, for my model. You're gonna be out thirty-seven hundred dollars after tax and everything, four grand. Um, but how much was your montage again? Yeah, I don't know. You know. So if if you've got work to do, and this does work then 
by all means get it. But anyway, um, I will test more plugins if you guys send me um, if you guys send me uh, requests. Um, I have MK Sensation that runs under Rosetta. I had so much fun with that because I'm like, I can't get this thing to actually. It runs under Rosetta, and I did a goof, and I did actually get it to scratch. But that was uh, that was more me. Um, everything else, Keyscape runs great. Uh, you know, everything else that I've tested. Um, so, um, you know, if you're running MK Sensation, uh, cause I, I, I had the, uh, sample rate to MK Sensation to 96 for some strange reason. I don't know how that happened, but as far as I know, MK Sensation doesn't have 96. The samples aren't sampled at 96. So, um, when I turned it down, everything that I threw at it, it played, I turned the polyphony R all the way up. It, it played. So I think that was more me. Um, and then, uh, so anyway, you guys be blessed with that. And, uh, these Apple MacBook pros, and of course you're wondering how I'm doing this. Like, well, like I said, well, I don't know if I said, cause this is like the second take of the video, <laughs> second or third take. So I have the MacBook pro run into a video capture. The video capture is being handled by my large machine. So, um, so you're hearing, um, audio from the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Pro isn't handling any video capture. That's being handled by my old relic of a Mac Pro. <laughs> um, 2010 Mac Pro. Um, for those of you who have that machine, um, hold on to it, because it, it'll get you till when these new Mac Pros, the new M Mac Pros come out. Um, this thing does USB 3.1. This thing is a, does Thunderbolt. Yes, it does. Uh, this thing does everything, and and because of Open Core, so that's a whole nother thing. So, if you um, if you get into Open Core, that opens up your machine. And I am actually running Big Sur, and I, if I want to, I can swap out my uh, Bluetooth card and my Wi-Fi card and uh, Monterey. I can run Monterey on there. So, yeah, Apple doesn't like that. So, this is why the new Mac Pros are $6,000 because they're like, oh man, these fools, we, we, we're gonna, we need our money. So, you know, um, you know, like that song that you hear, we don't owe you affordability. And that's what Apple says. Affordability. We don't know you. I'm playing around. All right, you guys. Be blessed.